Okay, we're over here at the uh, MLS Aerospace Division of Monkey Like Shiny, and uh, we're gonna do some water jet cutting on the uh, on the cool Omax here. This is for the four jaw competition parts. So uh, we'll bring you in a little closer and show you the cutting once it's going on here. That's why I use a six jaw or a three jaw because it's way easier. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have to think about it. I don't have to make a machine that has competition. Well, this I is not a head-to-head -head uh, competition. Come on, man. How much, a, how much money do you think is on the line this year? It was 400 bucks last year. Whoa. So, uh, oh. This year, I think it's going to be even bigger. But see, what I'm counting on is the, uh, the young man's nerves, okay? You know, head to head is different, right? Because so, it's, it's oh yeah, yeah. You know, it's like exactly. I can give him shit while we're doing it. Right? So, uh, all right, let's take a look at this thing, and then we'll get some cutting done. Okay, so we got a we got a chunk of uh, steel plate here. This is three eighths thick, about ten millimeters. And now what we're going to do is uh, we have to set the origin of the machine so it knows where to start from. Um, we've uploaded the uh, DXF file that I created and, uh, and already made the uh, cut path for the machine, but now we just basically have to home it. So let's uh, go ahead and do that. All right, so we'll walk you through this here. So go back over to the X, so jog over and remove all your jog. Oh, right. Move X, so uh, just do it. Yeah. Yeah. Just the jog will be good. So go the other way. The other way. Hit plus. There you go. So, hold it down. There you go. Oh, okay, now I can see it. It's just like, the buttons appear just like the way it's going to move. So, a little bit more. That'll be probably good. Okay, and then you go up and Y. Yep, go up and Y. Okay. That's probably good enough. Okay, Is it so, yeah, yep, okay. it's pretty good. All right, so, so, then you when you bring your Z down, get it. So it's about a quarter inch or a little bit less than the Z. Oh, Z down. There you go. So okay. how fast does it come down? So it comes down pretty quick. There you go. So once you get it close, that's probably good. Okay, so then, uh, so this is a 80 thousandths uh, shim piece that Omax gives you to get the nozzle height exactly to roughly about 80,000. That makes up for any variations in the material surface and it also gives it a spot for when it goes through the pierce to be able to actually like get out of the out of the jet out blast. of the jet blast, yeah. Okay. So, this is our tool. So, we're going to basically set it down there and then use the page of the page down right there on okay. the keyboard, so page down. So, you get it real close. Coming down. Yeah, it's a it's a pretty fine movement, so just hold it down. Is it uh, use the page up, page down. Oh, okay. There you go. I don't know if that one actually does anything. Just a little bit more. A little bit more. That's good. Right there. Okay. So then once that's there, you can push the zero right there. Got one. Yep. Last time we forgot to turn on the garnet, so uh, <laughs> I think we got it this time. We got it this time. Yeah, okay. We ran out mid cut. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna reset the camera so we can see the the initial start up here. All right. So let's flip the hood. Hood down. Yeah. No. So we'll raise up the water. As it raises up, it's adding air pressure to the one side of the tank. Uh, that's probably pretty good. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Cool. So, looking good. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs>
So, so we pause it just to make sure the cut quality is looking pretty good. So, oh yeah, everything's looking good. You can see Jeez. our start and stop point. Nice. So, that was when we paused it right there. That was our pierce. Hold it down a little so, bit. There you go, right there. Yep. That was our that was our pierce. And then that's when we paused it to get that other cut, so you can see that reset. See, that's almost as good as Adam can get on his lathe. <laughs> <laughs> we might have to save this one for the forge off competition. screen showing uh, some of the parts and where it is and then the uh, travel speed and position this is uh, 44 minutes to cut all this stuff out all right so there's some of the first ones there this is the uh, headstock support here the ways come through here and then the headstock and bearing assembly sits in this, uh, this little notch. And then this is just for a support rib, which is, is almost done. We'll have that out in a minute. Support. All right, so we got the big plate in there now, and we're going to cut the legs out uh, for this guy now. This plate is just big enough. <laughs> it is very close, so we'll see those in a few minutes. All right, looking pretty good. Almost done. Tubes that connect the bottoms together so that it doesn't flop around. In case things get 
Fix you get rambunctious up here, which they could. What do you think? You put these as a recess. Oh yeah, that's good. Like an accent feature, huh? I think you should go recess. Yeah, recess would look better. Recess? I think so. It would show up better. The hole shows up there. If I painted the edges, go red, go deeper, Jeff. Like go go almost all the way out. Or it doesn't there. stand out unless I painted this or something. Yeah. I don't know. Pretty cool either way. Yeah, yeah, I, I like having those. That's great. I didn't even think about I it. I think this would be a nice trailer hitch cover. <laughs> <laughs> or battle ram. This is some stuff. <laughs> I'm just gonna put a giant magnet on it and stick it on the door of the car, right? <laughs> this could be the new door handle to your shop. Ah, that came out great. Thank you, sir. That's, That's cool. awesome. Right on. Yeah. Very nice. Luckily we have some leftover creative plate. <laughs> leftover.